now we're going to take a look at the binomial distribution and how we do that in Excel. And there are two functions that we're going to focus on on the right. We're going to focus on the binom.dist function, which will give us the probability of a certain number of successful events given a number of trials or flips, uh, in this case for the coin flips. Uh, the probability of success, and since this is a fair coin, it will be 0.5, and the whether or not we want a cumulative probability or the exact probability. And we're also going to use the function down below, which is going to be the inverse of that, which given a probability uh, of success and the number of trials, what is the uh, probability of overall successes, what's the cumulative probability, and it will return the number of successes or events that occur at that given weight. So let's take a look at the um, example we have here. We have a probability of success being 0.5 representing a fair die, I'm sorry, a fair coin. And we have number of flips as being 50. So if we want to know the probability of exactly having 30 heads, what we're going to do is we're going to use the binomial dist function where we choose uh, 30 as the number of heads or number of successes. We're going to use our B6 formula here for the number of flips or trials. B5 is going to be the probability of success, which is the uh, fair coin, 0.5. And since this is exactly 30 heads, we're going to use the false uh, parameter. And when we do that, we end up with a value of 0 0.041. And that basically means the probability of getting exactly 30 heads is 4.18%. Now, if we're going to do a less than or equal to 30 heads, that means we want all the probabilities of getting 0 heads, 1 head, 2 heads, 3 heads, all the way up to 25 heads, up to 30 heads. So what we'll do is we're going to use the exact same formula, and we're basically going to have 30 as our number of successes or heads. Again, B6 of 50 and B5 of 0.5 for probability of success followed by true for the cumulative. We're saying give us the entire cumulative pro probability. So when we do that, we end up with 0 0.9405, which is basically saying that all of those possible outcomes, if you accumulate their probabilities, will be 94%, or basically the almost the entire set of uh, possibilities. And you have to think that the probability of getting 40 heads or 45 heads becomes very, very remote uh, given a fair coin and 50 flips. Now, if we're doing more than 30 heads, and then that means we're basically taking 1 minus the 30 heads. So we would run 1 minus, and then we would take the binomial distribution. and again using the number of successes as being 30, followed by the number of trials as B5, followed by the probability of success, 0.5, and then true because we'll need the probability, the cumulative probability for everything between 0 and 30, and we're going to take 1 from that, and you end up with 0.05. You could have done 1 minus the 0.94 and achieved the same result. If we're going to do the exactly 20 heads, we'll use the same formula binome dist, but in this case we're going to use 20 as the number of successes. Our trials will be 50, and the probability of success will be 0.5, followed by false for the cumulative because we're going to just take the exact probability, and you end up with 0.04. And you'll notice it's identical to the 130, and, uh, or exactly 30 heads, and that's because the number of flips is 50, and if our probability of success is 0.5, then that means that 25 would be uh, the most likely outcome. And since 20 is minus 5 and 30 is plus 5, they, they are equal probability on both sides of the mean, or the expected value. If we're going to take less than or equal to 20 heads, we'll use the same formula. Binomial dist, 20. Choosing the number of flips is 50, probability of success being 0.5. And our cumulative distribution is true, because we want all the probabilities from 0 through 20, and we'll get 0 0.10. Now this is slightly different than you might think for the less than or equal to 30 heads, uh, and that's just because we're taking less than 20 um, 0.94. We'll show you a graph in two seconds why they're a little bit different. Now, with the more than 20 heads, we'll take 1 minus that value,
Now, if we wanted to do the reverse and we want uh, an outcome based on probability, so at most, how many hints would we get if the cumulative probability was 0.5? So in this case, we'll do the binomial inverse function. The number of trials we have is 50 because it corresponds to the number of flips. The probability of success, that's what this probability s is, is 0.5. And this alpha value is the number that we want to test against. It's basically the number or the probability, uh, the cumulative probability uh, to that point. So we want 50% of all possible outcomes. So we'll put in here 0.5. And as you can see, it's 25. So at most, you'll get 25 heads with a 0.5 uh, probability of success and 50% of the cumulative distribution. If we do the binomial inverse again of 50 with our 0.5, and this time we have a probability of 0.2, you're going to see that that would be 22. So 22 would be the number of events such that 22% uh, such that 20% of the cumulative distribution would be less than 22, less than or equal to 22. And if we wanted 70%, uh, we'll do the binomial inverse again take the number of flips as 50, the probability of success is 0.5, and we will choose our 0.7, and we should get this number uh, slightly higher than 25, and as we can see, it's at 27. So it says that 70% of all the possible outcomes will be uh, 27 heads or below. <laughs>